You going somewhere? Yeah. I was just going to take Reuben out for some fresh air. Well, if you hang on, I'll come with you. No, he's only two. Well, I plan on eating my own body weight in cheese today, so a walk will do me good. <sighs> OK, I'll, I'll, um, I'll be honest with you. I was planning something, and if you come, it'll ruin the surprise. Well, then I'll be honest with you. I worry about you going out on your own. I don't know why. It's Christmas morning, no one round here knows who I am, and Mackenzie's not going anywhere, is he? There's nothing to worry about. You're right. Overprotective. You go get your fresh air, I'll start making a mess in the kitchen. Brill. Yeah, we won't be long. So. Uncle? Yeah? I've got a little surprise for you, too. Can't wait. Hello? Amy? Matty? Is anyone in? Thank God, I thought you were... Dad. So, this is my surprise, is it? I can explain. You lied to me. I wanted to see Amy and wish her happy Christmas. We're sisters, you can't keep us apart. I really wish I could trust you. You can trust me. You know that you can. Then look me in the eye and swear on Amy's life that you didn't help your boyfriend escape yesterday. What are you doing to him? It was wrong, OK? He doesn't deserve it. I'm going to let you decide whether you hear the good news first or the bad news. Good. Well, the good news is... he didn't get very far. It's Christmas Day. And Mackenzie's not even phoned me, not even text me, nothing. And I'm doing everything I can not to go completely out of my mind, but, babe, I know something's not right. Why don't you come back to the pub, huh? Take your mind off it. <sighs> no, I'm not in the mood. So have you heard from that illustrious son of yours? Chloe? Mm, no, Aaron, the last time I checked. No, 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 Chloe, over there. What? Who's that? Oh, my God, it's Harry. Harry who? Simon Harry. The bloke who kidnapped me. What? Well, what's he doing with Chloe? I just to think. Chloe! Chloe! Right, we need to do something. She's in danger. Hang on a minute. So Mackenzie happens to be missing and he turns up with Chloe. No way is that just a coincidence. What are you doing? Where have that car's going? We're going after him. Come on! Oh. I feel happy leaving Reuben in the car. Safest place for him. Where is he? Dad, please. Please don't tell me that you've... Mackenzie, oh my God. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. What are you apologising to him for? Can you get up? Okay. Wait. I am not going to let him hurt you. Wait. Wait a minute. Why am I suddenly the bad guy here? He was perfectly happy to let you die. This is not happening. Well, so what we? We just let him go. You're smarter than that, Chloe. All right, big fella. Not looking so great down there, are you? Maybe we went a bit hard on you yesterday. Dan, no! <coughs> but then, we've got her to blame for that, haven't we? What are you doing? Yeah, if you're a good boy, I might make it quick. This is your Christmas present, darling. I don't want this. Well, it was this for a spa break. But I'll know for next year. No! <coughs> but you know what? Where's the joy in making it quick? The 
pezza volevo per a fondo. Before I kill you. I just don't believe she'd have left Ruben in the car by choice. What's, what the hell does Harry want with her? That's what I don't understand. Shh, shh. What's that? feeling about this charity. I, we could be walking into anything. I, I don't think I can do this again. You're not gonna... Don't worry about it. You're gonna be safe, OK? Call the police. Stay here. I'll go see what I can find. OK, OK, OK. Oh, OK, 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 OK. Oh. Wow. Well, look who it is. Listen. Don't stop. You're gonna get yourself hurt. No. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Huh. Oi. Oh, thank God. Is he? Uh... I don't know. I think he's out cold. Baby, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Have you call the police? Um, no, not yet, but I will. You need to get outside. Wait there with Reuben, yeah. Babe, come on. I need to get in there before he wakes up. OK, you just be careful, yeah? I'll report you to the police myself. Don't think that I won't. You really choose this maggot over your own father. In a heartbeat. You've never loved me. You don't even know who I am. Oh, here we go. It's because of you. My self-esteem is so crushingly low that I didn't think that I deserved better than him. Oh, that's a lot to unpack. Why don't we discuss it over dinner, eh? Now move! No! no! The gun! <laughs> 